Hello, welcome back to the Tap Bells YouTube channel. Today, I'm just gonna vlog about whatever. I've asked Instagram a few questions, um, I'm gonna answer some of those, and I'm also just gonna have a general catch up, a tat catch up. <laughs> and I'm, uh, I'm in the M2 today. This is my new car, which I'll tell you more about whilst I'm driving it. One of the new cars. Um, and I'm headed down to Dub Customs and F1 Wax for a little bit of a uh, TLC. Anyway, better get, better get on the road because I'm already late. <laughs> now for the 15 point turn to get out of my drive. adjusting my seats and <laughs> the bolsters I'm tight I'm in <sighs> don't know if you can hear that <laughs> but uh, when I got this M2 it didn't have um, it doesn't have an OEM exhaust it's got an aftermarket exhaust which is really silly, which I personally feel the S55 engine, which is in the M2 competition, same as the F80 M3 and M4, I believe is vital for this because it's, oh, because it, it's not the best sounding engine in the world. Thank you very much. <laughs> So yeah, it's got an aftermarket exhaust. It is Larry. I'm gonna try and get some of that, some of the sound of the exhaust, because it's just me today. Try and get some of that sound later on. Maybe when I get to dub, who knows. Getting out of London. Always feels weird doing this. <laughs> I feel like I'm out of my comfort zone. No. Um, yeah, so I just thought general catch up as to why I've been away, doing bits and pieces, not really being that active on social media. Um, last sort of thing I was kind of shared about properly on Instagram was the fact that we got some new cars. We bought this lovely 2018 M2 competition, um, as well as a 2018 Audi TT RS. I know a lot of people are gonna be like, why both of those? They're such like this similar sort of car. Well, actually they're, they're, they're not. Um, but I'm gonna do a video on both of those back to back another day. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm, I'm back, I've got a car, I've got, you know, I'm able to drive again after all that crap with the C63S being stolen in January. I'm feeling a bit down, a bit flat. Um, but I'm back now, I've got my cars. Although I don't really get to drive very often because <laughs> I've kind of taken a different career path, um, which is also why I've been a bit vacant from social media. I, um, I, found, um, I found a new calling got some green thumbs <laughs> so I've got I've created a new Instagram handle called botanical bells which is uh, my other side of stuff so I do gardening I'm looking to get into landscaping that's that's the end goal here um, as well as terrarium making um, yeah so that's that's kind of kind of like balance my crazy car driving with some like eco plant stuff <laughs> kind of um, yeah, so that's kind of where I've been. I've been working hard. I haven't shared much about it, but I will. I'll do videos. I'll do more videos when I when I when I can be bothered. Not bothered, I suppose. But that's another thing. Because the last video I did talking about anxiety. That's I I really I really suffered from it from social media, from Instagram, from YouTube, from all that crap. Um, and it's it wasn't particularly nice, particularly fun. But I think. I just recently saw, sorry, I'm gonna be blabbing on now, <laughs> but it was, it was Mental Health Awareness Day the other day, and I, I was kind of vacant from sharing about that on social media because I don't think there should just be one day. I think, you know, we should be able to, it's just kind of like just putting it into a category, well, talk about it one day a year. You're allowed to talk about your mental health. Nah, I think we should all be talking about it whenever the hell we feel like it, openly, honestly, um, I think it can, it, it, it'll help a lot of other people who feel like they can't talk about it, who feel like they, they, they really struggle to, to kind of voice how they're feeling, um, and, and it's, it's, a, it's a very dangerous thing, mental health, and everyone, I think everyone really needs to, to be paying more attention to it. I personally have got out of a, of a dark place, and I'm now headed towards the light. <laughs> um, um, I mean, yeah, 
I'm in a very good place now. I'm not, not feeling so anxious about doing videos. I just kind of, kind of lost the love for it, I suppose. I felt like with the Tap Bells YouTube channel, it's all about cars and what I'm up to. And I'm still, still gonna carry on doing that, as and when. But I'm gonna also start talking about other stuff, you know, things that, whatever you guys want. If there's anything in particular that you want me to talk about or you want me to cover, let me know in the comments. Anything at all, like literally anything. Um, I think it's, it's just kind of try, try and change it up a bit. I'm gonna I'm gonna show the real me, bring out my personality, not just you know crazy Tat Bells, who's you know very much there. That's very much me. But um, just to kind of show the real side behind behind what you see, because it's not all amazing. Look at me, look at this, blah blah blah. It's really not. So I'm gonna kind of talk about that more and share more about that. So let me know what. What else you'd like me to cover? If you just if you just want it to be cars, well, just tune into the car videos then. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure they'll all kind of revolve around either being in a car or something to do with it, because I don't tend to get much free time now to be able to talk in front of the camera. Oh, it's gone dark. God, it is so miserable this time of year. We get a bit of sunshine, which is great, because it's autumn, and the colors of the leaves, everything's changing. It's really lovely. I do like this time of year, but it's so bloody gray. Gray, gray, gray. I need a holiday. I booked a holiday. Oops, just recording a bunch of stuff and forgot to um, to press record. Anyway, so funny story with this car, with the M2 competition, which by the way is insane. Why I didn't go to the BMW side of things before, probably because there was an M2 competition. I never really, I didn't, I've never liked the M4. Uh, the M3 was good, but there's just something missing. I think I just love a little coupe. I love a naughty little coupe. Woohoo! This car, man, it's just so good. Anyway, so we didn't know that it had um, anything. I mean, when I saw it outside the showroom, which was JR Prestige, I believe they're called up north. I think they're JR Prestige. Anyway, they had it set outside the showroom. We were actually going up to see a C63S um, just because we loved the car so much. But then this was set outside and it's black. Um, and, it, and it looked a little bit different. I was like, God, it, it, no wonder I found out anyway. It's got spacers, it's got eye back springs. It's got, um, and then I looked at the back end and I was like, well, one, it's got a carbon fiber, like duck tail thing, which looks awesome. <laughs> um, and it's um, also got an aftermarket exhaust, which this car, as I said previously, needs. The S55 engine, I think, needs it. I've dri I'd driven another M2 competition prior and I was just, I was just wasn't really blown away by it. And I, I need that raw when you start it. It's not a V8, obviously, um, but it's still got that you know, uh, when you turn it on and when you're driving, and oh my god, anyway. Anyway, um, yeah, so I, I yeah, so it's, it's, it's got a few things on it. It's got, yes, it's got spacers, which just really set the car off really nicely. Um, it's been lowered, it's got eye-back springs, I don't know which ones, but I've got them. Um, it's got an aftermarket exhaust with my power flow, I believe, from memory. Um, I need to get that checked out. Obviously, I, I, I'd love to one day have an Akrapovich exhaust on this, but it's a lot of money, a lot of money. Um, but it is the one exhaust that I would only put on, on cars if I'm gonna go aftermarket. It would have to be an Akrapovich exhaust. This has just got a cat back by Powerflow, which is very naughty. I really wanna try and get some sounds um, on it because it is hilariously loud. <laughs> I am annoying my neighbors yet again. Um, yeah, so it's 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 not just an OEM sort of M2 competition, which by the way are awesome, but just, just they're just missing the sound. And I think and the space has really set it off. I like I like a beefy looking car, but then I just like a little beefy coupe. I really like that. This is like it just reminds me of a, a really nice woman. She's got the curve, she's got a big front end, she's got a skinny middle bit and a big fat ass. <laughs> and it looks the tits, basically. I'm I'm not I maybe mean, I'm just a bit biased, but it's I just this thing. I love it. It's great for when I get to do a bit of everyday sort of driving around town. It's, you know, the DCT gearbox, it also doesn't doesn't really, doesn't like to be kind of sat in first, second. It prefers, it just wants to go. It just wants to go, which is something that I've always looked for in cars. I just want to be thrown around. And this is the one that you want to throw around. I'm actually quite looking forward to coming off the A3 now because there's some country lanes. Um, and hopefully, because it's about half 12, 
there won't be too much traffic, but there might be. <sighs> so it's very nice to get, it's still, for me, it's still like a new car, because I just, I've had it for two months and I haven't really driven it that much. <laughs> I haven't driven either, really. Um, yes, it's a nice sunny day. The roads are kind of dry, a little bit of slip, which is always fun. I'm not going to take traction off because I'm, I still haven't quite got used to the car yet. Um, but I would like to do that very soon. I think I'm going to arrange a sort of mini track day, a bit of tuition in this car when the tires are a little bit more worn or if I can be bothered or if I can afford to go and buy another set of slicks or something, something that I can have to take on track. some caffeine so before caffeine I thought I'd just show you so you can see it's definitely definitely been lowered it's got some spacers I mean just check that out that hip just gets wider I can't wait it's filthy but that's that's what F1 wax is gonna do check out the little carbon fiber bum lid boot spoiler yeah I'm very much excited to see this once it's all tidied up Anyway, caffeine. So I've got my Tropical Edition Red Bull, not sponsored, and I couldn't resist it. Mikado's, just because, why not? Um, yeah, right. <clears throat> so, as you're all aware, I'm headed down to Dub Customs, I'm headed down to CF and Wax, and there's gonna be, a, I'm mainly, I'm just getting this car detailed, right? So. The TTRS has already been fully PPF'd by Mulgari. They have done a fantastic job. I'll link their Instagram and their website down below because they've got a really sick facility, a really, really special setup, um, which is, yeah, I mean, it, they, they did an incredible job on the TTRS. The reason why I'm not getting this PPF'd, it's already got quite a few stone chips. So yeah, it's not, I'm not, I'm not, willing to pay for some paint yet so I'm just gonna have it detailed um, which which I think is sufficient for now um, and a ceramic coating and stuff I'm not changing the color or anything I'm not gonna do guess what color I'm doing my car I'm not anyway so yeah they're gonna be they're doing the why is the engine morning light great so they're going to be annoying I haven't bought one of those diagnostic tools yet either the little Bluetooth ones it's not so frustrating it doesn't say anything about anything on there it's just got the little yellow that lovely little yellow warning sign lovely when I can I am gonna take this to have it to have it done tuned tuned properly I'd like to take it I mean I've seen so many people that are doing it DMS Automotive Litchfield they've both done like a stage one uh, no one else has done it really much more than that um, I think because they just they haven't been out long enough people are saying that there's a bit, a bit of a funny engine to, to fiddle with but it's already been fiddled with just want to kind of take it all off and put it all back to standard and then and then get it done properly by one person that I know because I don't really know much about what's happened to this I don't really know who's done it um, yes so anyway yeah the cars being detailed I'm gonna have a nice ceramic coating put on I'll let I'll let them tell up tell us exactly which one they're gonna put on um, but for now there's no point in PPF in this car there's too many little stone chips on the rear quarters it's got those stupid little factory plastic bits that look horrendous on the side which I'm gonna have them remove also um, just because I think they look crap <laughs> but no changing of colors yet I would like to maybe go satin uh, PPF on this eventually but not until I can be bothered or have the money to to get some bits painted which is pretty much like the front end rear quarters and maybe a couple on the roof I don't know fun 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 <laughs> <laughs> I 
I have now arrived at Dub Customs with the M2 and it's here for a little bit of F1 wax treatment. So I'm going to come on over here oh, yeah. and let you tell us all what, we're, what you're going to do to okay. this beast. So we've assessed the paint. We haven't washed it or anything that Nothing yet. Like that yet. So uh, under our light here you can see the paint. Yeah. It's lovely paint but we've got to it's get so, to yeah. see it. So it's been it's machine polished unfortunately. Only on this side point. though. <laughs> yeah, along here. Yeah. And then it goes above the door a little bit there. So it's not a problem. We'll get rid of all that and you can see the hologram. Oh, I can't well. wait. I can't wait to see it once you've worked so, to imagine. Yeah, it's going to look proper. It, Let me see really the solution, good. not the problem. <laughs> I so, like that, I like that. Yeah, so it's, it's going to look wicked. It's an awesome car. I'm very it? excited. It is an awesome car. They're awesome wicked. Car. They're a wicked car. So I'm very much looking forward to this. Come back in a few days, collect the beasts, and I'll show you the finishing results. <laughs> well, I'm now at the very glamorous Basildon train station, waiting for my train back to London. So I'm just going to end the video here. Hopefully you enjoyed my little tat catch up. Let me know though what, you, what you'd what you like me to cover from now on. If it's not just going to be car stuff, it's just going to be a general anything, literally anything. So let me know in the comments what you think I should cover. If there's anything you'd like to know, either about me or just in general, and I can give you my, my advice <laughs> or my thoughts and feelings. Anyway, make sure you like, you subscribe, and I'll see you all soon.